Here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, we deliver those predictions on a weekly basis. And, of course, preseason predictions. Actually, before I knew I was the voice of college football, before you find people out there, uh, tap me as the voice of college football and our entire channel, your contribution as well as the voice of college football because we all have a voice. Way back in 1979, yes, 1979, I know many of you cannot relate to 1979, but in 1979, I made my first NFL predictions. I predicted out the season. I predicted every game of that season. I went 153 and 71. I still remember that number. There are 224 games played in the NFL each season or was at that time based on the number of teams in the NFL uh, and played a 16-game season. So uh, do the math, 224 games, 153 and 71. Then I started predicting college football games in 1982, and I still remember my record then. I didn't plan on this. I didn't plan on reciting the records. They just came to mind. That's how my mind works, but I can't remember what I ate for lunch. 106 and 26. Uh, do the calculation on that. 106 and 26 straight up. I didn't know anything about a spread back then. Actually, I did, but didn't know actually that people predicted games against the spread, which I will explain it some point down the line why predicting against the spread should be worthless and useless. Actually, predicting the game correctly uh, the winner of the game is most important and should be actually what's recognized. When the spread became a big deal, uh, at least for me and online, uh, I started to predict the games against the spread maybe seven or eight, nine years ago, something in that range, maybe 10 years ago, something like that. Anyway, I've continued my college football predictions through the 2020 season, of course. And uh, my NFL predictions for the first time, I think, ever, going back to 1979, I stopped predicting NFL games the last two seasons. Just stopped. Didn't think about it. Okay. The reason we're here right now is to match up my predictions against the national pundits. And I would like to thank our friends over at SG1 Sports because I watched this video and uh, we've got a partnership. Many of you are aware of that. Uh, with our many team-specific channels, but I would like to thank uh, Chris over there at SD1 Sports because he produced a video a few weeks ago where he laid out uh, the college football pundits, the national pundits, Joel Klatt, Kirk Herbstreit, guys like that, and their predictions versus his predictions there at SD1 Sports since the 2016 season. So, of course, in addition to making the game predictions, I predict the season out. And someday I'll dig all that up and, and present that. I have delivered bits and portions of that in the past. But let's predict, or uh, let's run down my predictions on the preseason predictions in terms of who would go to the college football playoff and go to the national championship game and win the national championship versus we've got uh, Herb Street, Corso, Howard, that would be Desmond, Joel Klatt, and Matt Leinart of Fox Sports, USC fame. So let's make our comparison here. And I've got the, uh, uh, I've got the go ahead, and the approval of Chris to include SD One's uh, forecasts here as well. And he did a fine job, and certainly outperformed the guys we just mentioned. All right, in 2016. So in 2016, SD One Sports correctly predicted Clemson and Ohio State to go to the playoff. You see, Kirk Herbstreit had three of the playoff teams in Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State. Joel Klatt with uh, Bama and Clemson had two of the four. Lee Corso zero. Don't know who those predictions were out of Lee Corso, but he couldn't get one out of Clemson, Ohio State, and Alabama making the playoff in 2016. Matt Liner with Bama and Clemson with two, and you see Desmond Howard picked Clemson to make it. 2016, a banner year. Banner year, Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football with these preseason predictions. I picked every one of the four teams to make it. All these are verified on video. Let's go to the 2017 season in which basically Herbstreit, Klatt, Corso, Howard, and Leinert all picked Alabama to make the playoff. So they only got one right. Of course, Georgia, Oklahoma, and in 2017, Clemson also made the playoff. SD1 Sports missed all of the playoff teams. 
In 2017, I picked uh, Bama to beat Florida State in the national championship game and also Ohio State and USC in the playoff. The Buckeyes could have been selected in 2017. They were not. So I missed three of the four. I got Bama right, and they won the national championship. I missed on FSU, Ohio State, and USC. All right, in 2018, SG1 Sports got two of the four with Bama Clemson, Herb Street as well, Clatt as well. Corso only got Clemson. Desmond Howard got the two, Alabama and Clemson, and uh, Matt Leinert, Alabama and Clemson. You really got to be an expert to throw down Alabama and Clemson. So <laughs> it's been pretty easy in some regards. In 2018, I picked uh, Clemson to beat Ohio State in the national championship game. So I did Clemson, did get a Clemson correct as a national champion. I also picked Alabama and Georgia in the playoff. Of course, Ohio State and Georgia barely missed the playoff. I was upset about this this particular year in 2018 because Clemson – uh, in Alabama, I got right. Ohio State and Georgia could have easily been selected and made the playoffs. But anyway, I got Clemson right in winning the national championship. They beat Alabama, of course. I had them against Ohio State. All right, in 2019, between Herb Street, Clatt, Corso, those three all picked Clemson, Ohio State. They both made the playoff in 2019. SG1 Sports had Clemson, Oklahoma. They both made the playoff. So, Two out of the four. For Matt Leinert, also Clemson, Oklahoma, two out of the four. And for Desmond Howard, just Clemson, one out of four. In 2019, I got um, Clemson and Ohio State that year. I picked Georgia to go to the national championship game and beat Clemson. I also picked Alabama in the playoff. They lost two games and missed. So I got two out of four in 2019. In 2020, SG1 Sports, uh, depending on how you view this. So they correctly predicted Bama and Clemson in the playoff. There's a bit of an asterisk here with Texas A&M because that selection was made before the other conferences were allowed to play. Before the Pac-12 and the Big Ten, uh, I believe this is how Chris explained it, before the Pac-12 and the Big Ten decided to play, he picked Texas A&M. So you can go either way on that. Of course, Texas A&M could have been selected. They were not at number five, so either give Chris two out of four or three out of four. Herb Street got two with Bama Clemson. Corso got three this season, Bama Clemson, Notre Dame. Uh, both uh, Desmond Howard and Leinert got two out of four with, you guessed it, Bama Clemson. I got three out of the four with Bama, Ohio State, Clemson, and Texas, and I picked Alabama to win the national championship this year over Ohio State. Pretty good pick. Bama over Ohio State that I picked in August. So the tor the tote board looks like this. Myself and SC1 Sports have predicted three of the five national champions before the season started since 2016. Three of five for myself and Chris at SC1 Sports. Corso, Howard, Leinert, and Clatt all are two out of five, and Herb Street one out of five in selecting the national champion before the season started. In terms of predicting, correctly predicting playoff teams, I'm also going to note before I jump there that I correctly selected three of the championship game losers before the season started. Ohio State this year, Clemson in 19, playoff teams. Starting from the bottom, we've got Clatt, I guess with seven. There's some discrepancy there in regards to him not selecting one year. So you got Joel Clatt with seven of the 20. So you got five seasons, four teams per year, 20 playoff teams during these five seasons. Clatt's got seven. Corso's got seven. Desmond Howard, seven. Liner, nine. SG1 Sports, depending on how you count it, with Texas A&M, either eight or nine. Herb Street with 10. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. I've selected 12 of the 20 college football playoff teams since 2016. It's fun to do predictions, and uh, we do our best. You know, I say that, I got to say that tongue in cheek because I usually spend about 45 seconds making my predictions each week. Sometimes it shows. Uh, but uh, just thought uh, we would match up our selections versus the national pundits. And again, our thanks to SD1 Sports and providing those numbers for Clatt and Corso and those guys. Uh, right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Would love to hear your prediction stories. Let us know right here at the voice of college football.